Hi guys, Sai is here and finally Magisk 28.0 latest version released. So today in this video, what is the changelog of this latest Magisk? And also I tell you, how can you update your latest Magisk? And also I tell you, if you are going to root your device freshly, then how can you do it with safety precautions? So watch this video till then. And if you're new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our Telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay guys, first of all, talking about the major change logs of this latest Magis. So I am opened my latest version Magis 28.0. And when I go on settings, the first change log we can see that is randomized output name. That means when you going to patch uh, file, like uh, if you are going to patch any file, I mean boot IMG, then the outcomes, that means the patched boot IMG names is randomly changed. Yeah guys, this is the first major change log. Talking about second major change log, now it is not mandatory to enable Zygisk for enabling Info's denial list. Yeah guys, on previous version we need to enable Zygisk. It is mandatory to enable Info's denial list. Okay, if you are enable Info's denial list, then you are good to go to enable config denial list right now. So now in this version, no need to enable Zygisk for enabling Info's denial list. Note this point. This is the second major change log. Now talking about third major change log. Um, on previously, uh, the file size is limited for patching. Like if you download any firmware file, right, for taking boot IMG, patched boot IMG. So now there is no limitation. You can patch any firmware file for boot IMG more uh, larger than 8 GB. Yeah, guys. Now this is the major change log. You can apply for patching larger than 8 GB firmware file. You will get a boot IMG. No need to extract boot IMG. I mean, no need to extract that zip file or whatever file you are download and you no need to uh, patch that boot IMG. Simply you need to apply the firmware file for patching. The outcomes boot patch IMG is come. So it is very cool and it is very, very interesting because the, the size is increased more than 8 GB, larger than 8 GB. That means larger than 8 GB firmware file you can apply for patching. So this is major change log. So these are the major change logs which we can see with our eyes. Okay. But some other major change logs is there. You can check it out. I will give the link on description that is internal change logs. Okay. Now talking about how can you update your Magisk with latest version. Okay. So first of all talking about this is the uh, this is not a stable version 28.0. This is a beta version. Um, after some days, stable version is released. Okay. But the change logs is near to near same. There is no more change logs. Okay. Now, how can you update? So when you open your uh, stable matches 27.0, that then no update is comes, right? There is no update. Like when I open 27.0, there is no update. So when stable update is released 28.0, after that, you can see the update option is present when you open your uh, 27.0 Magisk version. Okay, so simply click on APK update, update the APK, then click on uh, manager update, uh, click on update it, uh, click on direct install recommended, then click on let's go. After that, it will patch the latest version, then click on reboot. That's it, your device is shifted on latest version of Magisk. And suppose if it is going to fail, that means the patching is going to fail and your APK is updated, but manager is not going to update, then what you need to do? Simple. Go on official website of Magisk, get a pitch. Okay. Uh, simply download stable version of version 28.0 Magisk. After that, uh, change the extension .apk to .zip. Okay. And simply flash that .zip file as a Magisk module on 27.0 Magisk. Yeah, it's very simple. And click on reboot. After that, your device is shifted from 27.0 to 28.0 stable update. Okay. So this is the fix for those guys who don't able to update or it when it going to fail. Okay, so this is the important point. Now talking about if you're going to root your device freshly, then one important precaution which we need to note that what is that uh, when you uh, there is two methods now one is uh, recovery method and other one is patching method. So when you're going for recovery method, don't flash latest version 28.0 flash 23.0. Yeah, guys flash 23.0 zip simply download uh, the 23.0.apk magisk. I will give the link on description. After uh, downloading, simply 
change the uh, extension dot apk to dot zip after that flash that zip file through custom recovery okay reboot your device but before flash the match zip definitely mandatory to take backup of your old boot img so simply go on backup section and take the boot img backup after that you are good to go to flash that 23.0 match zip okay after completion of flashing reboot your device and install latest version of magis 28.0 apk open it and click on update that's it click on update magis update i mean manager click on update uh, then click on direct install then click on let's go then it will patch the latest version and click on reboot after that your device is updated with latest version okay so note this point you need to update your magis through magis apk don't flash directly latest version of magis because in few devices in some devices maybe boot loop is causing maybe it will be happens no idea maybe it will going to happen because i faced this type of issues in some previous situations so better if you go for this method which i told you okay right now now talking about second method yeah talking about patching method so no need to patch that uh, boot img with older 23.0 magic version you can simply patch it with latest version 28.0 yeah and simply after completion of patching you can flash that patch boot img through fast boot or odin if you are use a samsung user then flash it through odin okay so this is the method and if you still confused um, then watch my previous video i will provide the link on description where i practically explain practically perform how can we do it step by step okay so if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care